Yep, and this is a best of five, so, oh man, this should be exciting. Like you said, Kat's one of the most exciting Zerg players, very, very aggressive, and it's the life, just a <laughs> solid, solid Terran, so. I hope he fast expands. <laughs> we could see some two barracks play in action. See how Katz defends it. How yeah. good to see. Hopefully Katz he uses says drones. that uh, real men do 16 hatch and he just defends with drones. <laughs> but like like uh, Steve said, we've been asking a ton of people and theory crafting a whole bunch, uh, still working out some of the timings for one of my ideas. But almost every single Zerg has told us something different. And not only that, every Terran has says said that it's like easy to stop, but says that the counter is something else entirely than both <laughs> the Zergs and other Terrans say. So it's just really crazy to see how many uh, responses we're getting and how none of them really match up. What's the most common, if I might ask? There is no much most common. That's the, that's the thing. Everyone is saying something different. So yeah, then I'm going to let you uh, do the introductions and then we can go back to talking about this. Okay, so top right we're going to have Novus the Life. He is our green Terran. Pretty high on the rankings. He uh, is a really well-known Terran as well. And he's going to be going against the leader of Root. He is Root Katz down on the bottom left. He is our yellow Zerg. I hear somebody crunching in the background. Sorry, I think Katz right. very well can go for the uh, <laughs> quick expansion here. All right, so we're going on Zalnaga, and I think it's I think it's pretty much he's going for the fast expansion because it's at fortitude now, and he's not putting down a gas yet. So yeah, definitely going for fast expansion. I'm Light guessing at the bottom of that ramp. Destiny mm. is not ready yet. Oh, sorry, yeah. I'm back here. I just I didn't hear the order. <clears throat> Looks like uh, Astrolife is going to probably open up with some kind of uh, early pressure build, maybe a 5 Marine, 1 Hellion into a Banshee or some kind of pressure like that. Yep, Astrolife known for uh, some sort of early pressure into just a huge macro game with a lot of bio. Yep, and so just to clarify, I think Sheth is joining us on this cast, which should be really awesome to have a, another high level Zerg commentating. So I think we got four Zergs and one Protoss with me. I feel awesome. Hey, so if I so if I could pick your brain for a second here, I really get uncomfortable um, if I scout an early game Terran with my drone and I can't get in and see any gas going up. Like, what what are you feeling uh, like in Katz's position right now when there could be a second barracks going up or there could be two gas going up? Do you normally scout earlier? Do you just kind of cover for all of those bases or how does that work? Well, me personally, uh, I like to just uh, usually I'll leave that drone on a tower to see if he does any sort of early push. Like if he's doing a two barracks, just have to check for that. Like I like what Katz is doing and leaving it there just to see if there's going to be an SUV with it or whatever push the life's doing. If he had three marines here, Katz would know it was a, a two barracks. But the fact that he doesn't here kind of lets him play safe. Um, I, I personally would make a bunch of drones at this point and just just pray the life isn't doing some sort of two barracks pressure. Um, because that's really all you can do. You can't prepare for both. Like if they do Hellion, then you're just you lose. So in my opinion, I just take the, the only one that is uh, for sure safe against Hellions, and just pray he's not doing a two barracks, and then I just use drones if I have to. How about you? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> How about you? <laughs> I, I like to, I'll actually scout really early, uh, maybe at 8 or 9, just so that I can see the difference. Um, just because Terran has so many options behind this wall. Um, <clears throat> I don't know, I just, I really like to see that gas going down. I also really like to grab that second gas, so that I know I have a little bit more time before um, Banshees show up. Um, but I mean, that's just me, I've been, um, especially I played a couple games against uh, DDE, and that guy will do crazy harasses, especially if you let him get both gas up, and if this Hellion messes you up at all. And then you're behind from when the Banshees show up, and then if you get behind there, then you're behind from when the Marines and tanks show up. You know, it just kind of snowballs out of control. Definitely. Yep, going back to this game real quick, we do see that uh, Still Life went for a factory after that Rax, but he's now pressuring here with four Marines and a Hellion, and that spine crawler is not finished in time, so we actually might even kill this Queen here. Um, getting a little bit of lag from Pekaran, unfortunately. I don't know, unfortunate to boot a spot bunch of for says he needs to pull that queen back. Oh, and he does it right away. <clears throat> oh. But still gets roasted anyways. That was a great micro despite the lag. <laughs> I don't think Cass is happy about losing that queen. Who would be? Who would be? 
it's uh, interesting though how that can tilt a player because you just your mind's gonna be thinking, what if that guy wasn't there? What if this one spectator wasn't observing in this game? Would it have changed it? And you just usually, at least for me, I have problems getting it out of my head. Oh, and that Hellion almost going down as it does. Oh, it does go down after coming out through the grass. It looks like Stalife is going for that fast expansion, getting the Orbital Command inside. He did switch out the barracks at the bottom of the ramp with a bunker instead. Actually got a Reaper in there. It's an interesting yeah. choice. He's getting the Reaper upgrade too, Nitro Packs. And he's Dang. making his three Very barracks. Unusual. I love this. That's awesome. Terran have so many cool things that they can do. I think the Reaper is a really underused unit, even though it got nerfed. I mean, especially in maps like Zelnaga, where you can be hopping up and down these cliffs and kind of picking off drones every now and then. I mean, if you force the Zerg to make roaches or even a couple spine crawlers and he doesn't really want to, I mean, they really accomplish their purpose. Especially seeing the Nitro Packs. I mean, it's pretty rare that you would see that. It's quite an investment. Yeah. I love it. Brings awesome. me back to the... Or go ahead, excuse me. <laughs> I was gonna say, since it's the best of fives, so life has a little bit of wiggle room to play around with different builds here. I mean, he's playing really safe right now. He does have two bunkers up as this expansion is about to go down. And he is just triple producing these Reapers, so he's gonna do some kind of big push. Once you get to this maximum capacity of Reapers, you can just like two shot these hatcheries pretty quickly. I and mean, that can just demolish a Zerg instantly. Yeah, and with those Reaper packs, um, if you get even Speedlings off creep um, against that many Reapers with Nitro packs, it makes it almost impossible to micro. It's kind of like trying to chase down Blue Flame Hellions off creep. Definitely. What do you guys think about putting a Reaper on each cliff above a tower, just completely preventing the Zerg any map uh, knowledge as well? I mean, I used to see that in the beta all the time on, um, especially on maps like Lost Temple, where you could hop up and down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely, great idea. I think that these uh, cliffs actually go really underused. I'm really surprised Terran have medevacs and tanks anyway. Why they don't actually siege up on top of those cliffs when they're pushing into the gold? I think that they're uh, really underutilized at the moment. Not to give any Terrans yeah. any ideas out there, but I've seen like QXE a few games on Lost Temple and even Druby. They just, uh, you know, that little little spot on top of the tower. They just put all their tanks up there and just harass with Marines. It's so, so difficult to deal with. He's doing a great job using those Reapers, abusing the, the cliff, and he has the medevac. Wow! That you can't see on the high ground. Medevac this is Reaper pretty original rush. Play. Yeah, never seen this before. Really smart though. Really cool. Absolutely. Ah, <coughs> oh, he loses his queen. This is an amazing harass. Really, really cool original build. Those Reapers are just doing so much damage. He did lose a couple there. He's still got three left. It looks like he does want to go after the second queen, and he might even get it. I think the the big thing here too is that Stellife is making cats go roaches. He's making cats kind of play a little bit differently than he'd like to. Cats does have that spire up, uh, which will be great. But Stellife has all the map control, has all the knowledge. Um, cats just had to play passive there, and, and uh, it's it's not something that I think he likes to do. You can yeah, tell by. Actually... Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I was just saying you can tell by uh, Katz's macro there, got a little bit high, that he's just uh, a little bit thrown off by this. Apparently, um, yeah. Stall Life just won in uh, Calgary. Uh, Josh South is messaging me, I guess. Stall Life just won uh, like an $800 live event in Calgary, Calgary, and he also opened with a pretty similar build there, too. Wow. That's impressive. Uh, I was going to say, that's a pretty low-cost way to actually do a lot of harassment. He's had that expansion up for a while, but I'm actually impressed. Cat's drones so hard during all of that. He's still up 55 drones to 40, although he hasn't been able to get an expansion quite yet. It looks like he's going to be hard-pressed to do it as the life is pushing in. He does have stim and a lot of marines with medevacs, just as Cat's got a lot of mutalisks out. Oh, it's going to be close. Those roaches are helping out a lot. As weird as that sounds, they're doing a little bit of extra DPS. Really nice holding that off by Cats. I wasn't sure he could. Pulled some drones. I don't see enough Zergs doing that against Terran. Yep, and he's actually still ahead in Harvesters. Up 53 to 42 right now. 
Um, but on equal basis, so he's still in a little bit of a tough position. Probably wants to grab that third pretty quickly. He did break down those rocks, and there goes the hatchery at the gold base. Um, now flying around with those mutas, going to be able to harass a little bit. Um, no uh, missile turrets up for uh, still life just yet, but of course he should be able to defend with these stim marines. And something we actually haven't mentioned that I just now am noticing that's pretty amazing, Katz is getting double upgrades for his lings. That's what let that be so, so nicely stopped, is the fact that usually 